Hey, this is Craig with Viking Restoration. Uh, this short video is going to be about moisture deduction and moisture left behind by carpet cleaning companies. Uh, this particular job here, the water backed up and the customer called a carpet cleaning company to come extract the water, dry the building out. Uh, about a week later, the customer was experiencing a, a foul smell. We came in and uh, did a little bit of detection work. This is the GE Protometer. This is the average meter that's relied upon by a lot of the industry to detect moisture. Reason being is that it's a rather, you know, this is on the more sophisticated end of the protometers, but the more than the average, this one here is about $500. The ones that most people use are around $150 to $200. They're great at detecting obvious moisture, hidden moisture, a little bit more difficult to detect. Uh, if we look at the wall, the wall looks dry feels dry. If we go in with the moisture meter and the non-penetrating version, uh, which is this is just sending a signal through the wall, retrieving it back, detecting how much moisture is in the wall. Uh, and that's the way 90% of the industry does it. It's coming through and it's detecting a dry wall. You see, uh, if it detects moisture, like from my body, it's gonna you know, get a red signal is going to be right there at low numbers. So it's detecting no moisture. problem is this only shoots 3 eighths of an inch deep. The drywall in this wall is half an inch thick. This meter we can pull the top off. We have pins exposed. Push a button, switch modes. Now we can actually stick the probes into the wall and detect moisture. We want this to be on this meter 12% or less. It's coming up at 8.5%. Still down at the bottom, 9%. So why is the customer detecting a smell? Well, using thermal imaging technology, we're able to take a look at the wall and detect some you know, temperature differentials at the surface, which signifies to us that there is a problem somewhere within the wall. Uh, we're going to cut a large hole to take a look at you know, more in detail what's going on. As we get this hole made, make it a little bit wider over more towards the stud here. We can see inside the wall that the drywall, the back of the drywall is dry. Got it. If I take the moisture meter and I stick it in the back of the drywall on the inside of the wall, it's at 9% moisture. It's far less than what we need it to be. We take a look at the wall, however, and pull out the drywall a little bit. You can see the water is just ringing out of the insulation. Let me go ahead and I'll do it. Cut the insulation out. And we'll see that the insulation is full of water. Reason being is because of dew points and pressure differentials. Uh, during the winter months, the exterior wall is sitting at far below dew point. And so as the drying process is heating up, 
of the building, if, the enough, if not enough energy is transferred to the exterior walls, all of the condensation that normally the dehumidifiers would take care of is getting pushed to the exterior walls. And standard drying practices during the winter time in our northern climate will actually make the interior of walls wetter. And that's a problem that nine times out of ten is not detected until spring or summertime when long-term damage is done to the building. Uh, that's one of the key differences between using Viking restoration, our skilled professionals, and our highly advanced equipment versus using you know, the run-of-mill carpet cleaners who aren't prepared to or trained to encounter this type of situation.